A watch which gains half a minute every two hours was set to read the correct time at 7.30 p.m. on Tuesday. Determine the time the watch will show on the following Tuesday at 3.30 a.m. So let's go to the solution. So this is what you're going to do. The first thing is counting the number of hours from 7.30 p.m. on Tuesday to the following Tuesday at 3.30 a.m. That is the first thing. So from Tuesday, so 19.30 is the same as 7.30. So 7.30 p.m. is the same as 19.30 hours in 24-hour clock system. So from Tuesday, 19.30 to Wednesday, 19.30, these will be 24 hours then from wednesday to thursday 1930 these again will be another 24 hours from thursday to friday 1930 again that one will be another 24 hours from friday to saturday 1930 again this one will be another 24 hours from saturday to sunday 1930 that again will be another 24 hours then from sunday to monday 1930 that will be another 24 hours then from monday to tuesday now in the following tuesday but now it is not 1930 it is 3.30. So 3.30 a.m. is equivalent to 27.30 hours written in 24-hour clock system. So from Monday 19.30, I'm writing this one in 24-hour clock system for it to become easier when calculating the time. So from Monday 19.30 to Tuesday 27.30 which is the same as 3.30 a.m. How many hours are these? This one you have to calculate. This one is not a full day. So this is uh, 27.30 subtract 19.30. This will be 8 hours. So this will be 8 hours. So these now will represent the total number of hours from Tuesday 7.30 p.m to the following Tuesday, 3.30 a.m. So total time will be given by, so Tuesday to Wednesday, 24 hours, Wednesday to Thursday, 24 hours, you count 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So this is the total number of hours. So total hours will be given by 24. There are 6, 1, 2, 3, 4. There are 6. And then we add 8. So this will give 152 hours. So this is the total time. Now we go to the first statement. The watch gains half a minute for every two hours. Half a minute for every two hours. So for every two hours, this watch gains half a minute. So what about for this total time, which is 152 hours? So you cross multiply these. So we get it by 152. Multiply by a half, then divided by 2. And this will be 152 times a half, times a half. And this will give... 152 divided by 4, you get 38 minutes. Now, after getting 38 minutes, now that is the total time in minutes gained uh, for those hours. So, determine the time the watch will show on the following Tuesday at 3.30 a.m. Now, it will not show 3.30 a.m. There will be a gain of 38 minutes. So, you simply add 38 minutes. You get the answer is 408 
a.m. So this is the time. 